All right, sneaker fam. Like I said, back with another one. Today we're going a little uh, cozy boy certified. Been kind of lounging around, uh, taking a relaxing day to a Saturday. But uh, got the word from Citywide Souls. I'm gonna put all their. They're gonna put their logo up here, right here. And uh, they got a hold of me, said that the box was ready. So it's right here. Nice big box. As you can see, it's got some nice weight to it. Uh, they said that they're excited to watch me open it up. Uh, so uh, what they told me when I picked it up this evening is that every shoe is uh, marked $50 under the value as, that it would be listed on Go. So I have Wifey's laptop, which is what I use for my editing because uh, I film on my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the prices and my goal is that on each side we'll have what uh we'll make a rundown of what the shoe is valued uh we'll have to try and compare it to some of the used shoes because i believe that they said that all all of if not most most of if not all of the shoes in the box are going to be used um they do have a price breakdown inside of the box i don't know what's in the box when they ship them to you if you buy a profit box they will send you a picture of all of the shoes that are coming I told them I want to go in blind. I don't know what's in the box. So we're going to open this bad boy up right now. And uh, we're going to see what we've got going on for $1,000. I'm super excited. Never done a um, mystery box. Never done a profit box. So this is a first for me and a first for the channel. Um, here's the cheat sheet. We're going to set that over here on the chair and uh first shoe in the box is going to be uh jordan four what the fours so um doesn't have a box um these look like they are a tiny pair so this is a five and a half youth so we're going to take a quick look on goat jordan four what the these are a clean shoe if you haven't uh, so grade school and let's look at five and a half so if you don't know about uh, what the fours so this is all of the OG colorways and uh, all mixed up mashed into one so looks like it's a little worn if you look at the bottoms uh, just a little bit of star loss right in the middle um, they've got them listed at 240 and uh, looks like That's right around the average on GOAT. But these are pretty clean, not a whole lot of uh, creasing, just the minimal star loss up the middle, uh, not a lot of heel drag, which is good, but uh, super clean pair of shoes. And yeah, that looks like they've got them listed for 240. Um, not a bad colorway, I like that. I kind of wish that I'd picked those up when I had the chance. Uh, let's go with number two shoe. Uh, Looks like we have a Jordan 12. Get this one off. This is a super clean shoe. They had these listed at 150 to size 8. Uh, no box in this one either. So I believe that's the only two shoes in the box without a, without a box. So they had these listed at 150. Jordan 12. This is a super clean colorway. This is a real clean shoe. Uh, gonna be struggle busting here on the goat since I don't normally keep I don't look anything up Jordan 12 Is it? Man, wifey just told me it's a retro 12 indigo. If 
but uh, super clean. Uh, you can just look just a little dirty, a little rejuvenator, which is what I use on the regular. I say they have them listed as a size eight. Size eight used. Yeah, it looks like you have them on goat for right around in there. Uh, cheapest one I see on goats about a hundred and nine, but uh, yeah, man, super clean pair without a box. Retro Jordan 11, 12 Indigos, and uh, really super clean. Uh, next one. Uh, so we got a Retro 9, size 8.5. Oh, these are nice. These are like the winterized ones. Um, looks like OG everything. It's got uh, the spare laces. I uh, got the box paper, which is good. And uh, these things look... Uh, they said they're pre-owned, but man, you look at these things. Look at the bottoms. Super clean. And they've got a list them for 185 uh, Man, you can barely tell that those have been used at all. They look really nice. These would definitely be a real good uh, winter shoe here in Northwest Ohio. It's been cold and it's been snowy for like every Friday for the past like month. Uh, eight and a half. Doesn't look like there's any used ones on GOAT. So with new being 260. I mean, I I easily could see these going for two hundred. They they have them listed as used, but seriously, you you see these things in hand. It's got uh, you know all the both inserts and everything in both shoes. You can't even tell that those things have been worn. So one eighty five listed on those, and then we'll go through the breakdown of the box as well too. Another box. So that's three pairs in. Uh oh. Jordan 1 low, size 12. You know that these are my size. These are nice. These are the Easters. So you got Easter coming up if you're interested in these. Again, they've got these listed at 120 pre-owned. Uh, very lightly used. Very, very lightly used. Now I've got the inserts. Nice. This is a real nice colorway. Uh, definitely... Uh, super bright and uh, this, like I said size 12 let's see what they what if they have any of these on goat Jordan 1 low Easter's Easter pastel so size 12 looks like there's none used on goat and new best price is 140 so you know these are barely used i can see an easily uh 100 120 shoe easy um super clean got the uh jordan wings logo on the back and uh super clean shoe four shoes in and definitely a uh definitely so far worth it uh, what do we got here? This is a Nike Dunk Low, size 11. So you guys know how the Dunks have been going crazy. Everybody wants the Dunks. This is a nice clean colorway. What is it? Black Pure Platinums. So again, another used pair and super lightly used. Somebody took care of these. They've got them... Um, marked at 235 so let's see what we can do Nike dunk low black and that's gonna spit up a lot of panda dunks so 
So I might have to do a little digging. But that's uh, super clean. Uh, everything on the inside barely looks worn. Uh, you know, that's a bet one of the great ways to. Uh, there we go. Got them. Pure Platinums. Size 11. You know, this is a great way to go through and uh, save money. I've bought used shoes before. There's nothing wrong with buying new shoes. Uh, sometimes if it's something that you really, really want, something that you really, really need, uh, you know, can't ever go wrong with getting a used pair of shoes. Just because that's the, uh, everybody likes to buy them DS, but if you look on GOAT and you go into stores like Citywide, I love their selection. And uh, save yourself some money. Trying to look these ones up. Retro premiums. These ones are difficult to find on GOAT, but at 235, you know, nice, easy 200, 235. Like, you, like I said, you can can see just a little bit of star loss right at the very tip of the shoe but other than that um, looks like they drag their toes instead of their heels which is usually if you ask me a little bit better three more shoes in the box and some of them are bangers from what it looks like here we got an old school Nike dunk box here size eight and a half So you know that as you can see the difference between just um, these are SBs and these are going to be just your Nike Dunks. So for those of you who don't know that the SB is for skateboarding so they're going to have a fatter tongue as opposed to the thinner basketball tongue because the Dunk was originally a basketball shoe. If you look and uh, this sole is exactly the same as the Jordan 1. We have... The, that's not a good one because that's got the price on it. But if you look, Jordan 1 bottoms and the Dunk Low bottoms are exactly the same. So they came, both came out in the same year. And then you have the SB, which is just for skateboarding. So it has the fatter tongue. And then some of the materials are going to be a little more rigid and stiff to take the beating of skateboarding. And these ones are a little worn. But the soles are nice. It's got some weird uh, creasing on the front of this toe. But um, soles look pretty nice. You know, this seems like it's an older shoe. I'm not going to dig into the tag to see what year it was. these were put out. But it seems like this is an older shoe. Uh, got the lighting set up more for the photos and less for, the, uh, for me to look them up. But... These are nice. The soles are pretty clean. They've got these listed at 250 And uh, the Dunk Craze, again, is still going pretty hot and heavy. Uh, everybody loves their Dunks. And uh, I will try and see if I can't look these up later. And then come back and let you guys know. But 250 for that, I'm not surprised because it's a Nike Dunk SB. Um, two more shoes. Second to last shoe. Got obviously a Jordan 1 box, size 8.5. This one is an OG High. Ooh, nice. Some Turbo Greens. We all know how these go. Got, uh, looks like OG All too. Got the extra laces, got the white laces, the Turbo Green, and then they put the, they've got the blue laces in. And, uh, you know, these things have really jumped in price. These sat, um, and so did the. Um, other pair I don't remember what the name of the other one was it, it was a uh, gray black and uh, like a uh, fluorescent orange 
I really want that pair, but now the prices are super, super high. And uh, this shoe looks super clean. They've got them listed on the shoe at $350. Um, nice quality shoe. Everybody wants this shoe. Um, they compare these to, even today, they compare the quality and this shoe to like the University Blues that dropped last year. Um, this shoe has shot up. This is a size eight and a half. Look this one up on GOAT. The Turbo Blue is a real sought after colorway. Um, people like it a lot. Um, I remember when they were sitting at Foot Locker's. Right. Got it. And size eight and a half. Um, new price is six hundred. Insta ship is six sixty five. Use prices are two in the two eighty fives. Uh, so these are definitely uh, better than some of the ones that they have listed. The cheapest one I go to is two eighty five with no box and it has scuffs and tears and then the price jumps to 400 so uh you know these are in really good condition i definitely would be happy adding these to the collection but way too small for me and uh that is one two three four five six seven shoes in the box uh, so we're going to reach in, we're going to grab the final shoe out of the box. Alright, so we know what we got here. We have an off-white box. And um, this one is a size 9, part of the original, the 10. The Z Nike Zoom Fly. Wow, these are nice. I've never seen these in hand. These have come from GOAT. As you can see, you got extra laces, got the box paper. Um, size 9 never seen these in hand they have them pre-owned but again you can't tell these look real nice maybe a little creasing on the zoom fly but I mean you could try them on and do that now the heels look a little more worn but uh, let's see what they've got these listed at on GOAT This is a uh, very sought after part of the collection. Any, uh, any part of the, you know, Nike uh, off-white collab, especially part of the 10. Um, I don't know, insoles look intact, insoles look pretty clean. Uh, he's still got the zip tie. Um, you've even got some of the original uh, labeling some of the original tags this shoe looks like it's barely been worn so got a size 9 size 9 right now goes for on goat brand new uh, 400 got a new one with no box listed at 345 um, and goat looks like there is only uh, not only there's quite a few used ones anywhere between 175 to 450 so I would think that these are right in the middle very nicely nice shoe uh, definitely would like to get another off-white in the collection I had to tr uh, traded mine I didn't have to but I traded them because I felt like I wasn't gonna wear that dunk that often and uh, so eight shoes thousand dollars definitely feel like this is the banger of the collection I think the best deal out of the collection or out of this box would be the nine boot uh, just because I really definitely feel like that this one if it's been worn 
wasn't worn outside. Somebody must have had tried that on. So let's go to their breakdown. And uh, so they have the What the Fours listed at 90 bucks. The Indigo 12s at 80. Um, so they had them in store for 150. But uh, I definitely feel like they could sell for right around the, if they've got them uh, on here at 60. I definitely feel like you could get 100 bucks for those easy, if not 110, 120. Um, they have the vapor flies on the packet or inside of the pack listed at 180. I definitely feel like these are cleaner than some of the ones that I'm looking at on Goat. It's hard, like I said, um, to film on my phone and look up some of this stuff. I definitely feel like uh, these are clean. You could easily get, I would say, two twenty-five for these. Personally, um, the winter boots they have at a hundred. I definitely feel like the. Uh, Maybe a little closer to the 125, 150 mark. The pastels are at 60 bucks. That's definitely would be a steal at 60. I definitely feel like you could get these for a hundred easy. Um, the zebra dunk lows. So that would be this pair right here. Um, they have them at a hundred. I definitely feel like this is definitely closer to 150. So where they have them labeled at, I definitely feel like uh, the Turbo Greens have got lists for 250. Easily get more than that, if not that. And then the Hacky Sack Dunk Lows. Oh, that's uh, I can see that. <laughs> they definitely look like a Hacky Sack at 160. So I definitely feel like um, definitely make some good profit on here. I think even if you listed them higher than the prices that they're listed at here, definitely do great. Um, I th this is something that I want to get to eventually in my um, you know sneaker YouTube channel is doing more of these and then starting to resell. You know, always have a dream of wanting to start my own sneaker store. So we'll see how that goes at some point or another. But uh. Yeah, man, definitely love the box. This is amazing. Definitely got a good, uh, good assortment of shoes. And I really feel like if you bought this box, you would definitely make at least, you know, a couple hundred dollars, you know, 20, 25% most likely ROI. And, uh, this would be a good investment. And then you could turn around and flip more boxes. So, uh, appreciate the guys at Citywide Souls. Now it's time for edit time. Uh, this is not going to be fun. And it's already late as it is. So this may have to wait till tomorrow. But we'll wait and see. Awesome to see some of these shoes. Haven't seen the Turbo Greens. Uh, definitely in a profit box or a mystery box. Uh, definitely haven't seen some of these shoes in hand. If any of them really. Uh, some of them weren't on, aren't on my radar. But... Uh, definitely a great selection. I appreciate you guys over at Citywide Souls. I'll make sure that I link all of their stuff down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought was your favorite sneaker in the box. Um, I like the What the Fours because they're one of my favorite silhouettes. But I think for me, the uh, Zoom Fly Off Whites are probably the steal of the box. Uh, too bad that they're way too small for me. Or else... Uh, they might might have to try and go in and work out a deal, but this is a great little shoe. It's an awesome box, and uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, like I say, your sneakers are made to be worn, so wear them. Senior, out.